guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is day three of the 25 boxes of Christmas. In case you're new, 25 subscription boxes for the 25 days of Christmas. And I'm also doing 25 giveaways. And if you would like to see day one and day two, I have a playlist created and the videos will be linked in the description box below. Moving on to day three, I think I wanna do this one. Oh, it's heavy. This one is super heavy. is unplugged and if you watch my channel regularly then you know that unplugged is one of the subscription boxes that I review on a regular basis but I do have to say the boxes shape very differently this time usually it's a nice perfect square box and this one's more rectangle shape and it is heavy so I'm so curious to see what's in here the last year the unplugged book box during the book boxes of Christmas wasn't my favorite I ended up keeping the subscription throughout the year though so I wanted to put it back in the series so that I could give it another chance. Let's go check it out. All right. If you've never heard of Unplugged Book Box, though, it is a monthly book box that you can get adult or young adult. It's $39.99 a month, plus about $10 shipping. Each box, you will have, I would say, three to five items that are self-care related and one to two that are novelty related. Each month does have a theme and they do typically do a good job of sticking to the theme every single month. You will also have a fun insert, a bookmark, and a letter from the author in every box. I have the young adult box in case I forgot to say. The theme was Illuminate and they did change up their product guide, their product card a little bit. Ooh, there's a recipe in here for easy pumpkin mousse. Very interesting. Journal prompts to find light in the darkness. I love their journal prompts. I really need to remember to use them more. I've used some in the past, but they're really a great way to get you to think. It's very, very good for self-care. I see some unplugged book box, autumn nights, reading mini pumpkin potpourri. The potpourri will smell like apple, cinnamon, and baking pies. Oh, that sounds so delicious. I will have to find the perfect place for this potpourri. The potpourri is not something that I use a lot of. It's not something that I think about getting, but I will always welcome it in a subscription box. The next item is a book sleeve. I am super excited about this book sleeve. One, because it is thick and really good quality. I like it way better than, I think I got a book sleeve in the last 12 book boxes of Christmas series that I did, but this one I like better. It is a Gilmore Girls book sleeve. It says, I live in two worlds. One is a world of books. So then you have Lorelai and Rory sitting here drinking their coffee. Rory's reference to books because she loves books. I love this book sleeve. I actually do use them and I pass them along to my kids for whenever we're traveling to help keep their books protected. Felix loves spice, florals, and pear. Oh, it's a soap bar. Oh, it's all wrapped up pretty. I can't smell the spices coming out of that soap bar. So that's another nice product to receive. I love the fall coloring of this box. I have to say it's not what I expected when I saw this bright pinkish purple product card, but I love the items in here. Perfect for this time of year, even though it's already December. And a candle. I love unplugged book boxes candles. Sugared crimson pear cannoli cream and maple sugar. Their sweet smelling candles are the best, but of course I'm biased because I love sweet smelling candles. They are my favorite. I definitely prefer them to outdoorsy smells. I'm excited about that candle. I love their candles. All right, what else is in here? The last item in here before we get to the books is the world map cutting board. I love that. And this is the blood and ash cutting board collectible. So Poppy and Hawk are each other's light in the dark world. This exclusive bamboo cutting board as part of a brand new collectible series with bookish maps. We will release three other products over the next year featuring a bookish map. That's really cool. So obviously this is a map of a fictional area. So now we've come to the bookish things. They always have a book plate with the author's signature on it. Unplugged book box is not one of the ones where the author signs the book physically. Most book boxes, you just get a book plate. This is the art print and letter from the author. And, ooh, 
Ooh, okay, so this is why the theme was luminous. Wonderfully lush and enthralling. I love it. Okay, so this is by Rutherford. The book is called Luminous, and they have some praise on the back. A beautiful enchanting tale of a young woman coming into her own powers. Luminous shines as brightly as its heroine. Awesome. Her sister has been taken and the only boy she's ever loved has disappeared. To get them back, she'll have to use the magic she's always feared. That's a quick little insert there. I love books about magic. I mean, my all-time favorite is a thriller book, but those also intrigue me as well. Just to recap, I have potpourri, bamboo cutting board, spice scented soap, sweet smelling candle, book plate with the author's signature, letter from the author, and an art print, the book of the month, which is luminous, and the Gilmore Girls book sleeve, which I absolutely love. There are so many things that I love in this unplugged book box and I'm so glad that I did this box in the series again because like I said last year it just it wasn't my favorite box and this one is a really good box really good representation of what unplugged book box has to offer let me pack all this up and we'll move on to the giveaway for day three's giveaway I picked another box of just random things so of the items that are going to be shown today, the winner will get to choose seven of the items. To start off with, I have this, ooh, I guess this Americano brow pencil and this really big tote bag that says, let's go, I've had enough waking hours for one day. That sounds sassy. I kind of think that came out of a sassy subscription box. I also have this Alcrate exclusive wooden page holder. I have two of them, so I was gonna give one to you guys. This one says, there's music in your soul. Put it on your thumb, I believe, when you're reading, so it help keeps the book open. There's also a jewelry item in this one from Vertical Collective. I think this came out of a single swipe box. Also, there is this revitalizing eye mask that's here. Next, there is a face toner. Next, there is these coasters. These are actually heavy because they're marble coasters that came, I think, in a cause box. I just don't have the proper place to display them properly. That's why I decided to gift them. And I have so many other coasters that are fandom related. And I'm a person who tends to go more towards the fandom stuff. So I thought these would be beautiful coasters to gift to one of my subscribers. And there's a set of four in here and they're all wrapped individually to help protect them, which is great. They're white marble, hand wash only, made in India. And they have the little thing on the, to keep them from moving around. If I had a proper living room set up with end tables and all that, then I might consider keeping them, but I don't. I also have a pair of socks. When I got these last holiday season, I thought that they were birds but someone reminded me that they're actually it's actually a book that's opened up so it's books all over these socks so great for a book lover then there's also this lip glow saint lux liquid glow there's also a stress reliever it's natural hair oil it's still sealed up in its plastic thing i have not opened it and there is the outdoor exterior roll-on it smells like outdoors obviously i don't prefer the outdoor scent so i'm gonna give this and there's also this chicky botanica serene serum and there is the evolve hydrating serum which if I remember correctly, is very expensive for this little tiny tube. I actually have two of them. That's the selection that came in this box for day three's giveaway. Whoever wins will get to choose seven of the items that are here below. And that way it'll try to keep things even so everybody gets seven items. For the giveaway dates, wow. Did I forget to say that in day two? For the giveaway dates, it is open from December 1st all the way until January 5th. I will announce the winners on January 6th, so if you enter this giveaway, please write it down on a sticky note somewhere so that you don't forget that you have entered into this giveaway because it is so long from now. But I'm doing that because I wanna wait until after I get back home and the kids have gone back to school on January 6th so that I can just have a nice quiet time to announce the winners for you guys. Also, it's just easier not having to keep up with 25 separate giveaway start and end dates. So that way they just all start at the same time and they all end at the same time. I am going to have this one be a US only giveaway. I do think I'm gonna have five international ones that I've decided out of the 25 boxes of Christmas, five of them will be opened up internationally. 
this is not one of them. This is gonna have to be a United States one. So for this giveaway, you have to be 18 or older, live within the United States, live within a state that allows giveaways. You also have to be publicly subscribed to my channel and you must use the code word books somewhere down in the comments below in order to qualify to entering into this giveaway. Thanks so much for watching guys and being part of this series. I hope you guys are having just as much fun with it as I am. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below and I'll be back tomorrow with another video and another giveaway. Bye guys!